Well, meanwhile, engineers are working on a new form of renewable energy which could see dozens of Britain's defunct deep coal mines brought back into action. Water heated by the earth could be pumped out of flooded pits and turned into a sustainable form of power. Experts at the Coal Authority say there's a potential to start a new industry, create jobs and tackle climate change, as Matt Price reports. A relic of the industrial past brought back to life to provide energy for the future. This team is part of a project trying to take warm water from deep coal mines. If it works, and it's looking good, it could be one way of dramatically reducing carbon dioxide emissions. Yeah, it could be. It's a really, uh, it's a, a great step forward in the possibility of true green renewable heating, taking water from what has been unused mine workings for hundreds of years and utilising that water to remove the heat. It's always been seen as old mine workings, contamination, etc. Whereas this way we're actually utilising something that's sitting down there. Tunnels in old abandoned mines are now flooded with water, allowing thermal energy from the earth to heat it up. It's then pumped to the surface where the heat is extracted. The water can either go directly into homes and businesses or be converted into electricity at an energy centre. Afterwards, the water goes back into the mine to be used again. This system could one day be applied to hundreds of mines, including Whitfield Coal Mine in Stoke-on-Trent, with the potential to breathe new life into a once thriving mining community. The warm water in abandoned pits like this one is being seen as a viable form of new sustainable energy, a cleaner, greener way of heating our homes and office buildings. And for those involved in the project, there is a real sense of excitement. There's a, a lot of residents who have worked in the mining industry. Um, we've had welders and all sorts. Um, and when I'm walking around, some of them have come up to us and talk about it. Um, and in a positive way, they like to say that. They're just bringing back the history. There are already some people reaping the rewards. This wine warehouse is using the technology to keep this giant space a steady temperature. We started this uh, five years ago um, and, and it's been running for the last two and still it's, uh, it's, it's the only operational one in the UK as far as we know. Of course, any form of mining comes with risks. In 2013, ITV News travelled deep underground to the coal face of one of Britain's last pits. It was dark, hot and cramped and teams were given special gas alarms. So how safe is this? Yeah, it's very safe. It's, it's all very well regulated. And what we're doing is just bringing the water to the surface and then putting it back under again. So we're not taking anything out of the surface. We're just borrowing it for a little bit. The team working on this project mirror the friendship and camaraderie of those who dug for coal years ago. If successful, Britain's mines could still play a vital role in heating our homes for many years to come. Matt Price, ITV News.